What really makes the garden is the edge. No one likes to see a garden with all this crazy grass growing in there and not a delineated line. We like our gardens neat and we like them without any weeds in there. I'm trying to figure out my line beforehand. So I'll start here and I'll go pretty deep. Don't want to go too much into the lawn because we're not looking to make the bed any bigger. We're just looking to maintain the edge that we do have. You gotta find the line. And I flip that. So I isolate that, flip it up. And I usually go a trowel width deep and I don't push my my I don't push it back. I just flip it up. It's more about flipping than it is about pushing. And then you can really kind of work it so the mulch falls on the bed nicely and you don't get what I call like a cliffhanger effect where like this is like all flat and the mulch just falls down. And this is a great time to get any weeds that are near the edge as well. And you always want to take out any grass clippings because those can root in and those will end up in the garden. You have all the soil that you need to work with. It's very important to keep the soil in the garden. You just kind of keep moving along. Before you know it, you have an English style edged garden and you can step back and you can say, hey, I did that and it looks really nice. Happy edging.